let's look at factoring trinomials using decomposition. Our first step here is we're going to look at this last term, this 56. We're looking for a pair of factors that multiply together to give 56, but add or subtract to give 15. You're going to recognize this from the box method. This step is exactly the same. So 56 is 2 times 28. I'm going to put a plus on both of those because 2 times 28 gives me 56. When I add those together, I get plus 30. Not the factors we're looking for. Let's try again. This time we're going to do 7 and 8. When I add 7 and 8, I end up with plus 15. That matches my middle term. That's what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite that first equation. But that 15x, I'm going to rewrite as plus 7x and plus 8x. x squared plus 7x plus 8x, and then plus 56. It's the same as the original question. I've just broken up that 15x into two parts. I'm going to draw a line in between them. I'm going to factor the first half, and then I'm going to factor the second half. I'm going to keep everything together, but I'm just factoring it in two separate parts. So on those first two terms, if I look at it, I can factor an x out of both x squared and plus 7x. When I look at it, I can factor an x out of both x squared and plus 7x. Let's do that. When I factor out an x, I'm left with a single x and a plus 7. On the right-hand side, looking at this 8x and this plus 56, I can factor an 8 out of both of those. So I'm going to take a plus 8. Watch that sign. It's important. I'm taking 8 out, and I'm left with an x, another 56. When I divide by 8, I end up with 7. Now stop right here. These two parts and brackets afterwards have to be exactly the same. If they're not, your decomposition method won't work. But in my case, because they are the same, I can factor that x plus 7 out of both pieces. And my second term is going to be these two leftover parts right here, x plus 8. And there is my factored form. Let's write down those steps. First step, find a pair of factors that will multiply together to give your last term, but add together to give the coefficient of your middle term. Split your middle term up using those factors and the variable that was on it. The parts in the brackets should be the same. The binomial in the brackets should be your first binomial, and the leftovers should be put together to make your last binomial. Let's do one more. This one has some negative signs, so we'll have to be a little bit more careful with it. Starting out with the factors of negative 70, that will add or subtract together to give minus 3. Let's start with 35 times 2, and because that 70 is negative, one of these numbers will be negative, one will be positive. So I go negative 35 and a plus 2. When I add those together, I end up with negative 33. That's a long ways off, so that set of factors won't work, even if we play with the signs and change them around. All right, let's try another pair. Let's try negative 7 and plus 10. Add those together, I get positive 3. Okay, that's pretty close, but the sign is wrong. So let's flip the signs on our factors. Positive 7 and negative 10. That gives me negative 3. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Those are my factors. I'm going to rewrite it. x squared doesn't change. However, that minus 3x is going to become a plus 7x minus 10x. And that minus 70 doesn't change. If you look at it, if I put the positive 7x and the minus 10x together, I end up with that minus 3x. So I haven't really changed the expression. I've just worked it so it looks a little different. We're going to split it up into two halves. We'll do the first half separately from the back half. From that first half, I can factor an x out of both. I'm left with an x plus 7. Now let's look at the back half. Out of the minus 10x and the minus 70, I can factor a minus 10 out of both of those. I'm left with an x plus 7. Remember, minus 70 divided by positive 10 equals plus 7. Watch those signs. It's very important. Almost done. I'm going to take this x plus 7 that's in both of them, write it out front, and my second binomial is whatever the leftovers are, and that's an x minus 10. Once again, watching the signs to make sure you've got it right. And that is my trinomial factored.